Board Gamers and welcome back to Not Board Gaming. I'm your host, I'm Mark. Now there are times, and a lot of us have done this, where the internet and alcohol really do not mix and should not mix. And I'm not talking about going down deep into a rabbit hole into some dark German fetishistic website. No, what I'm talking about is having that credit card ready listening and uh, watching videos and uh, and reviews on certain games and then you know letting the credit card take the better of you and you know you, you kind of wake up the next morning full of regret you roll over you turn your phone on you look at your inbox and you realize that you've made a purchase and that's ex exactly what happened to me the other night uh, i'd had a few whiskeys a nice a couple of nice single malts and i was looking at the internet, feeling that urge, obviously, that uh, I needed to buy a new game, and uh, then the next morning kind of remembered that I'd actually done that. Now, there is not an ounce or a shred of regret about that on my part, because the game that I bought is Mechs vs Minions by Riot Games. Yep, and it's all to do with the League of Legends stuff. Now, I don't play uh, computer games in that way. I've got a console, but I don't play computer games. Never played League of Legends, but certainly Mechs vs Minions really really kind of intrigued me. I know that the quality is kind of, uh, the component quality is really high up there and I know it's a programming kind of uh, game as well uh, and I know it's a multiplayer game but you can solo it as well if you multi-hand uh, the mechs that you're using. So without an inch of regret really uh, because of course in reality I wouldn't have made the purchase had I not been able to afford the purchase. Um, uh, yeah I got mechs versus minions so let's have a look at what you get inside the box on this very special uh, drunk purchase unboxing of Mechs vs Minions by Riot Games. Okay, so here we have the box, and as you can see, it's a relatively big box. We have one, two handspans up by one, two and a half handspans across, and it's a lovely kind of big uh, monolithic kind of looking box, and on the back it says... Congratulations, you have been handpicked to join the inaugural class of the super prestigious and exclusive program Rumble's Intense Training of Programmable Lab Suits. <laughs> Ritopples. Okay, uh, this esteemed institute that is ultra selective and very hard to get into. Uh, we will show you how to be a pi how to pilot and program your own mechanical uh, mechanized lab suit or mech for short. Now, keep in mind, an in ink and poop can weld a couple of pieces of metal together and call it a mech. But the real magic, the artistry, comes in programming a mech, and so that's why the dean and the headmaster himself has decided to teach you the right way to do it. And there we go, some more information there from Rumble, who's the Dean and Headmaster. And he says, P.S., please come. It says over here, Mix vs. Minions is a cooperative tabletop experience for two to four players. But you can solo it because it's a co-op game. Uh, it's set in the League of Legends universe. Players take on the role of four yordles. <laughs> uh... Yeah, yodels, who must work together, program their mechs, and face off against a threat that, if left unopposed, could spell doom for all of Runeteria. And here we go, we've got the contents, and it says here, in the contents, let's just zoom in a little bit on that. We have five mechs, a hundred minions, one bomb piece, four crystal shards, one gear tracker, two gear rings, four rune cards, nine six command cards, 55 damage cards, 40, 40 schematic cards, five map tiles, one the school, one color compass, one, uh, five command lines, two numbered dice, two rune dice, one zonas, uh, zonas minute glass, one rule book, one tutorial, ten mission envelopes, dossiers and cards included, one final reward envelope, rewards and cards enclosed, and five game trays. And I do know, let's just zoom back out, look at the artwork on there, it's beautiful, beautiful looking artwork. Look at it, and I do know, from what I've seen uh, online, uh, obviously during my drunk purchase, um, that the component quality is absolutely first rate. So I've not seen inside this box at all. Let's have a look. Get the knife, oh, there we go, and just cut the cellophane and then move the knife out of the way. We hate the knife, we hate the knife. Here we go, oh, wow. So it is, as you can see, a huge, huge box. Absolutely massive box that is a little bit smaller, definitely, than the Kingdom Death Monster box. <coughs> but certainly one of the larger boxes in my collection. So let's take the lid off the box and see what we get inside. <clears throat> wow. 
Well, first of all, you can see that the production quality is absolutely stunning. I mean, look at these game trays, bespoke made, lots of different things. Look at that there. It just looks absolutely amazing. And here we have an attention uh, certificate almost there. Congratulations. As the founder, chairman and dean of Rumble's intense training of programmable lab suits, allow me to be the first to congratulate you on your acceptance into the inaugural class of this soon-to-be mega prestigious institution. So it tells you down here on your first steps to uh, on your first steps on your path to better um, betterment, Jude, <laughs> uh, and with the master mechanic tutorial. And be sure to bring the master mechanic field guide and textbook with you at all times. These two will be enough to get you started. So that must be something to do with the rules, uh, rule books. And there we go. His to-do list: start school, invite students, learn how to run a school. Uh, why is power source ticking? Okay. I mean, again, just looking at this, I am blown away by the quality of the components here. I just don't know what to look at first, so I think we shall start in this beautiful game tray that we have here. And here we have the pre-painted four players that you get to play with. I don't know their names as of yet, but these are pre-painted, and look at the quality on there it is absolutely stunning and they are fairly sizable characters as well here we have this guy who's riding his mech look at his face brilliant just really well painted high quality miniatures i so hope i enjoy playing this game because if the game is as fun as the components look this is going to be an absolute blast to play just look at the the painting quality on this it's stunning and this guy look here we go i say guy it could be a gal it's somebody or something in their mech with a fiery kind of pre-painted head just again look at the quality it is absolutely stunning so those are your four characters that you get to play oh look at our mechs fall out here by the looks of it okay then in this bit another game tray we have loads and loads of the minions down here and again you're not going to be able to fault the quality on this look at the little faces in there this is just stunning i am truly blown away by the quality of the components here so i paid uh, i think 80 euros delivered for this game from the right games uh store and <laughs> already look at these gears these are some kind of marker Already, the co the quality of everything in here is just absolutely stunning. I would say, I know eighty euros is still expensive, but you know, I've seen higher sorry higher price games with less quality components than this. There's some metal coins that you're getting there. We have these these dice as well that you can see, uh, and all the various minions. And what's these in here? These wow kind of purple shardy things i don't know what you would put in there maybe you put some minions in there uh absolutely yeah it looks like um yeah it looks like minions can fit in there don't know what they do how they work what part of the game they take but that is stunning and again some nice weighty dice as well and that's one tray and then underneath of course there is a whole other tray of more minions and here we go so a lot of minions look exactly the same but it doesn't matter because the quality is just so so good on them and of course as the mean minions these are kind of the uh, the things that will over try and overtake you on the map itself so that's another tray of minions in these wonderfully designed game trays here ah guess what's under here then of course it's even more minions. Yeah, we have more and more minions down here. So we have these guys who are kind of hugging a shield. Uh, and yeah, the same ones just there. And that is the third tray that's in here. That is just absolutely stunning. And I think, yep. Yeah, so here, let's have a look. We have the tutorial. Straighten that back up, sorry. We have the tutorial. Let's have a look through this. So this is wonderfully, nicely laid out, big text, big pictures. Don't know, don't think it's a very difficult game to learn to play. Maybe a difficult game to master, but that is only some kind of, uh, I don't know, 
10 pages long at the most. Really nice illustrations on there. Uh, we have a turn order sheet as well. Okay, this looks good. Nicely illustrated. Then we have the Master Mechanic, a field guide textbook. So this again is, uh, yeah, this is the rule books so then this basically. So we have 13 pages of rules, which is not a lot for a game, really. And again, absolutely beautifully laid out with some stunning, stunning artwork. You know, this game looks, everything about it looks and feels quality. And then we have what they would class as, I suppose, the legacy part of the game. And these are these kind of dossiers that you get for each mission that you play. Of course, you only get to open them once, but it's nothing to stop you, I don't think, replaying the missions. Now, I'm not going to open any of these envelopes to spoil it for you. But as you can see, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think there's eleven there. I could be wrong. Um... And yeah, you'll open these as you progress through the campaign itself. Phew, okay, so there's stuff under here as well. So let's lift this tray up. <laughs> and there's even more stuff under there. So we have these player boards and these are your programming boards and there are four of those and this is where you will pro put your cards to program your character's movements. They're nice thick card, but I'm not taking them out of the cellophane just yet. Then what we have is, this is the kind of score tracker, if you like, I think. Uh, minion kills, team gears, doom tracker. So, yeah, it's kind of a tracker that you will use throughout the game. Again, a really thick cardboard on this. I mean, just a really, really nicely thick cardboard. Component quality is out of this world. So then we have the map tiles, which are double-sided. And there are one, two, three, four, five of those. Yeah, really thick, really beautiful artwork on there. And again, as I say, they are double sided and I should imagine you could do those in many different configurations. I think this is uh, how you select your characters, maybe. I don't know what that is. Uh, and I believe this is called the school and that's where you will start from as well. We have a very big and uh, nicely looking, a nice looking bomb. I don't think you're going to move this around the map. And then you have this wonderful looking egg timer. And I think this is for the drafting phase, so you will use that as you draft throughout the game. <laughs> we got this box, and I don't know what's in... Oh, you do not open this box. So this is something that you will open at a particular point. There looks to be an absolutely huge miniature in there, uh, so almost a bigature. Um, but it specifically says there, do not open. Guys, I'm not going to open that box. And then finally, we have a couple of packs of cards as well. So we've got these cards, um, which um, I think are some form of damage cards. So let's just have a look at that. So look at the card stock and the quality. Of course, they're nice, thick, really beautifully decorated and illustrated cards. They should do all sorts of stuff there. Nice, thick card stock on there as well. They feel really, really good. Uh, and down here, we also have... More cards, of course, because what is a game without cards? Well, here we go. Let's just open that. And these must be your programming cards, yeah. So they're all defined by the different symbols up in the top left-hand corner. So we have fire, we have electricity, we have computery stuff, and we have something with, like, I don't know, engineering or something. Oh, it looks like it could be weapons there. And those are those cards. Again, beautifully, beautifully illustrated cards. Look fantastic. Wow. Okay. So that is what you get inside the box of Mechs versus Minions. This was, as I say, um, I bought this directly from the, um, uh, from the Riot Games website. Uh, I think I paid about 80 euros for it in total. Um, and already, by looking at what you get inside the quality of this box, it seems like it, there's a place for everything, and everything has its place. So if you like good quality components, it could well be that this is absolutely 
you know, the kind of game that you would be looking for. How it plays solo, I don't know. So, reading reviews online, there are people that absolutely love it as a solo experience. Um, I think it is more geared up for multiplayer, but of course, being a solo focus channel and a solo person, my initial forays into this are always going to be of the solo variety. So there we go. That's everything that you get inside the box of Mechs vs Minions by Riot Games. Wow, that is not an insignificant amount of quality content that you get inside that box. The art component, the artwork, the component quality, the pre-painting of the miniatures, the dice trays, the thickness of the cards, both of the card layers, uh, sorry, the cards that you use in the game and what play essentially will make up the player board as well. Everything screams absolute quality in there. It gave me a feeling when I was opening that of kind of the quality that you get and the feeling I got when I opened too many bones for the first time. You know, there is something special and a lot of work has gone into that. Of course, you can throw all the artwork and all the high quality components at a game that you want if it doesn't play great. So I'm really looking forward over the next couple of days and weeks of tearing into Mechs vs Minions, playing the solo game and coming back with a review on my thoughts on how Mechs vs Minion plays as a solo game. So thank you very much for joining me on this journey where we've unboxed and uh, had a look at the contents that you get inside Mechs vs Minions by Riot Games. Uh, this has been Not Board Gaming. My name's Mark. I'm your host please remember to like and subscribe to the channel uh, of course that way you'll always get updates on our future content and there's loads of great content anyway uh, on there anyway as you can see from checking out some of our videos there so once again thank you very much for joining not board gaming uh, until next time if you can't find anybody else to play with there's nothing wrong with playing with yourselves